So now we move on to building out our Fulcrum server. So you can see the repository here. Here's the GitHub uh, link to that. Um, what I'm going to do is go to the releases section and I'm going to download uh, version 1.6 um, from uh, into my uh, node box. So we'll just go down and you'll see a Fulcrum um, Linux file x86. So that's us. So we'll copy that link and we'll go to our downloads folder, cd into downloads and wget that link there. Okay. Now in the in my home directory, I'm going to create um, a new folder. Um, so I'm going to make dir. It's going to be called fulcrum, and I'm also going to create another folder called um, fulcrum underscore db. So now I've got in my home directory a fulcrum folder and a fulcrum db folder. This is where the database will be stored, um, and this is uh, where the application that I'm just going to that I've just downloaded will be stored as well. So let's cd back into our downloads directory, and here you'll see this fulcrum tar file. So we will uh, basically unzip that. So tar um, xvf uh, fulcrum. So that has now produced um, a, a folder here. And what we want to do is take everything from there and move it to our um, the folder that we just created. So everything from here, so um, that whole uh, move, so MV um, to move it. And we're going to take all of that information and we are going to put that into home Satoshi uh, Fulcrum. Oop. Fulcrum. Okay, and so now uh, that folder will be empty, um, this one here, and it will all be sitting in the fulcrum folder, like so. Okay, from here, I am going to generate um, some keys for SSL. Um, this will allow us to query our fulcrum server from our network um, in an encrypted way. So the command to create these keys or these SSL keys is this one here. And I will just um, hit enter on that. And then here you can just leave all of this information blank. It really doesn't matter. Okay. And so now when you list that out, you've got a cert.pem file and a key.pem file. And we'll need that for later. And the next thing that I'm going to do is um, I'm going to edit this config file here, but I'm going to um, rename it to fulcrum.conf. When we rename things in, in Linux, it is move. So you just move them. So fulcrum-example.conf and we want that to be fulcrum.conf. So now you'll see that I've just got a fulcrum conf there. I'm going to edit that in nano. So nano fulcrum.conf. This is where we are um, going to make some edits. Um, so here, the data directory. Now, um, we are going to change that to the data directory that we uh, nominated. So that's home Satoshi fulcrum underscore DB. That's our data directory that we want. Now, Bitcoin D can stay as is where we're, um, we're, we're going to connect via that port and that IP address. Um, and the RPC user is for me, Bitcoin and my password I'm going to put in, which I set up earlier um, as Bitcoin as well. Okay, um, scrolling down through here, um, we will not use TCP. We are going to be using SSL. So we're going to be using um, uh, 0.0.0.0 .0 .0 and the port will be 5002. And here is where we need to put the certificates um, that we, uh, or the uh, the path to the certificates. So I'm going to unhighlight that and make sure that this goes to cert.pem. So we'll go uh, home slash uh, satoshi slash fulcrum slash cert.pem. And we've also got key.pem as well. So we will make that home satoshi fulcrum e.pem and we will remove the hash there to um, yeah, make sure that it's activated. Um, just moving down along here, what we will do 
is keep going down along this text file. Um, we might want to set this to peering equals false. Um, and here I'm going to make fast sync equal. Um, I'm going to give it four gigs of RAM. So we'll just put 4,000 in here. Actually, let's give it 5,000. Okay. So 5,000 uh, megabytes for five gigabytes of RAM there um, to, to enable fast sync. Okay. Um, and that should be pretty much it in terms of the, um, the configuration changes. Um, so everything else looks pretty good. Um, just leave the defaults and it should just work. So we'll control X out of that and Y to save and enter to get out. So the next thing that we're going to do is um, make this uh, start on boot. So the way that we would do that is getting that service file. Now I'm going to create one. So sudo nano in etc systemd system slash fulcrum dot service. Okay. And put in our password. And this is our uh, conf file. So you can see here, um, we're going to be um, using or executing home satoshi fulcrum using the fulcrum.conf file that i've just edited the user is going to be satoshi um, and the rest will just um will leave as is i'll put this in the description so you can copy and paste it so we'll control x out of that and y and just checking there so we've got that fulcrum there um, we've got our cert we've got our key um, and we've got our conf file and we've also set up the, um, the database, which is here. And that's just a blank empty directory at the moment. Um, so what we'll do is we'll start this service. So sudo systemctl enable um, fulcrum.service. And we will start this up. And let's check out the status to see if it worked. And it looks like it is running. Now, if you want to see the logs of this as it builds out this huge database, it's a journal ctl fu fulcrum dot service. And you should see this plowing through. So you can see the percentage here, um, which height it's at. Um, and this is going to take a little, probably around, um, I'm going to think 12 hours or so. Um, and what it's doing is it's creating a huge database to which our Sparrow wallet, when we come to that, we will call back our Fulcrum server um, from our Sparrow wallet. So that is what we're doing. We're building this database so that the information can flow um, from our node through to the uh, Fulcrum server, which then is displayed to us in a graphical environment in terms of um, Sparrow Wallet. Um, the other thing that I will mention um, is I'm going to SSH into there again and into my node box. Um, and you can see that if you look into the Fulcrum um, underscore DB folder, you will see that it's created all of these um, uh, folders and, and bits of information for it to query. So I'm just going to leave this here for a uh, another 12 hours or so, um, and hopefully it will, um, yeah, it will build um, out this transaction database. Uh, this database is going to be about 100 gigabytes um, as of today. Uh, We'll just wait until that sort of uh, completes. Now, if you want to find out more about Electrum servers, I would recommend going to sparrowwallet.com. And the developer of Sparrow Wallet has uh, some great documentation, um, but particularly it's got um, some information around Electrum server performance. So have a read through there um, and you make your judgment. There's a, there's a few Electrum servers. Um, I believe at the moment, uh, Fulcrum is probably the better one. Um, and so, yeah, that's why we're installing that. And it will help you when you do whirlpooling and you know you constantly remix your coins and those sorts of things. That's when it will start to really shine. Um, but it's a really fast performance server. So that's kind of why I have um, chosen this particular um, uh, server to, to implement into my node box. Okay, so the Fulcrum server has now finished synchronizing and you can check that. Um, if you go through the logs here, you'll see um, that start listening, starting listener service for SSL serve uh, 0.0.0, .0, .0 
0.0 colon 5002. So you can see that it is now listening for connections. Um, and so that is now complete. So you'll see that that has gone from 99% um, all the way and now it is um, serving a server. So what we'll do from here is um, just check that uh, the, our, our, our hard drive space. So let's um, DFH here. And we can see here that I'm using 577 gigs out of my 916 gigabytes. So the other thing that you can do is check the, um, the, the usage, the disk usage of this folder here, the Fulcrum DB. Um, so when you're in that folder, you can type in du um, slash H, and that should give you a total of 104 gigabytes. Um, now, obviously, as time progresses, this will increase. Now, um, just a word uh, about your uh, Fulcrum server. Um, just ensure that you shut down your machine properly. Um, I've heard uh, instances where the Fulcrum database um, can sometimes get corrupted. So just make sure that you um, uh, shut down your computer uh, gracefully from now. Uh, you don't just, you know, pull the switch. Um, so, yeah, just, just be mindful of that. The other thing that I wanted to mention is that you don't necessarily have to use Fulcrum um, as, a, as a server backend. Um, there's other implementations of an Electrum server. Um, I've done a video on Electrum X separately on this channel. Um, and I've also got a, uh, the, the 2020 series, which goes through Electrum ROS server and the installation of that. So it's up to you which um, Electrum server you wish to use. Uh, I've got videos on the three main ones, um, but I've just decided to round this one out with a Fulcrum server. Thanks for watching, and if you'd like to support the work that I'm doing, head on over to ministryofnodes.com and click on the support button. I accept Bitcoin, Lightning, PayPal, and credit card. If you want one-on-one -on -one consulting, head on over to the consulting page and book in into my calendar widget. I can help you with holding your own keys, running your own node, and privacy best practices. Once again, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.